Alright, hey guys, it's me, Tectotiles here, back with another video, and, um, today I'm gonna be reviewing, well, it's not completely finished, but I'm gonna be showing what I've, what I've done on my, um, mark, um, winter mark, so, it's, unless, if you haven't watched, um, my other videos, then, this is supposed to be, um, a, uh, an entry for, it will, it's a will be entry to Warbrick's 75th episode of Carter, so definitely go check his channel out, but yeah, anyway, let's get on with the video, so. That's an overview, let's zoom out, and there it is, so. It's pretty cool in my opinion, I've worked, oh, there's a hair or something there, let me just take that out, come on. Yeah, okay, there we go. So I'll just show you an overview from the top. What it looks like so yeah uh, so I guess I'm just gonna show in 360 let me just put it right here and there we go all right well I'm gonna start by this side I guess so right here you can see this kind of destroyed house well not kind of but yes you can see a destroyed house mm. so I don't know I like it like it's cool like I try to add as much detail onto it as I could um, and yeah, I really think it looks pretty cool. So let me just take the mini figure off so that the British soldier up. So that you can see what's inside. So actually, there he is, guys. So yes, guys, British soldiers did use Thompsons. It was a very widespread weapon because I know I'm probably going to get comments saying like, um, but British soldiers did use Thompsons, only the American army manufactured them. But yeah, I'm just saying. So... Here you can see some broken gl uh, you can see the broken window and some broken cl gl glass. I mean, gl glass. You can see some broken glass um, on the floor. It's pretty cool. So I tried to add as much detail on the floor as I could. And right here you can see a, a Lee Enfield rifle and a Brody Hump, which is pretty cool. All right, moving on a little. Actually, let me, let me just put that soldier back. Is that even? Keep on shooting. <laughs> um. Yeah, there we go. Come on. Um, uh, Alright, there we go, guys. So, uh, right here, we have just got some more detail. And no, guys, this is not a fence. This is more of a barbed wire inspired thing, you know, just to make it look pretty cool. So, yeah. Alright, and here you've just got a nice little view on the snowy... <coughs> Sorry, guys, I've got a little bit of a cold. Um, snowy slope right here. So, yeah, moving on to this side. You can see... Actually... Actually, I mean, actually, this is one of my favorite views right here because you've got a view on everything. You can kind of see the soldier, I guess. He's kind of hiding behind that building, but um, if you just move over a little, you can see the destroyed back there. Yay! Which I will be showing you guys when I get to the side. And then there's a, you know, you can see the German soldier, and, yeah, so, um, yeah, and it's here you can see the rest of the slope, so, I mean, I, I don't know, I really like the snow effect, because this is supposed to be, uh, maybe I said so, I don't know, I don't really remember, um, but this is supposed to be a, like, two weeks after winter mark maybe three weeks so like you can see the, the the snow is slowly starting to melt but there's still a lot of it so i quite like that and also i try to add as many details as i could because you see i used like blocks like that 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 anyway let's not get into the details well for that because that's not too interesting but i quite like that so yeah Moving on to this side, you can see... Actually, this one of my... I quite like this view, too. You can see the British soldier shooting at the Nazi German or just German gun. Whatever, because he might not be a Nazi. He might just be German. <laughs> anyway. Uh, so, yeah, you can see... Here is probably the best view on the slope you could get. Let me just... Maybe a little... Ah, uh, there we go. Perfect. It's pretty cool, and you can also see the house, the barbed wire thing, um, the Pec 38 on fire, uh, the German soldier. So the German soldier is, I made a review on him like not long ago. I just added a wide backpack onto him, but 
He's pretty cool. He's running for cover. I yep, his gun came off. I'm pretty sure he's like well. I mean, I made him, so he's running for cover, guys. And yeah, I'm pretty sure he is. You know. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, I quite like the site too. Also, you can um kind of see the crater and the road and all. So that's pretty cool. Now, moving on to this. Oh wait, guys. Um, I just wanted to say I've also like um expanded the crater and the around of the like surroundings of the crater a little, so you can see. I kind of went around here, back to here, over there, and ended this part and this part. And I just worked on it a lot more, so it looks a lot better and bigger. And now this part, so, yeah, you can see pretty much everything. And also, you've got a pretty good view from for the from the slope here. Um, so, yeah, and here you can see the PEC-38 that's on fire. So, as I said, this isn't my design. It's Tony Scooter's, well, in my previous videos, as I said, this isn't my design. It's Tony Scooter Kovsky's design. You probably know him. He makes, like, those uh, really cool computer made um how to's for Lego World War Two builds and Lego Modern Combat. So go check him out. But you probably already know him, so yeah. No need to tell you that. So there was like a knocked over ammo box here and yes they did use these as ammo because uh yeah I don't know. I really think they they they're pretty cool for ammo. So there's more detail. Like well, I like the slope or well, mini slope right here. But like what I did with that, this part in particular, I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so, um, yeah, so, um, yeah, you can see the road. I've also worked on the road a little. I made it a little bigger, added more um, stuff. And I quite like this because it's small details like that that actually make your mark stand out. Um, whoops, sorry about that. Um, but I put some dirt or sand or not sand, I really doubt sand, but in my, uh, shovel. So, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah, and also, these are, like, bullets, like, hitting the ground or something from the sky right here. And if we turn, we go back around. So, this isn't, this isn't a finished mug, guys. It's not completely finished 100%, but nevertheless, it's still pretty cool. I quite like it. So if you're wondering why you're not seeing the Egg Panther, is because I'm still working on the wheels. Um, so they were on the floor in my room right now. I'm also working on an artillery cannon or a coastal defense something, but so it's not finished. But uh, you can also see I've taken back off there. Um, but I'm still working on the other build, and uh, yeah. Also, I'm not rushing because I've got like three weeks left for the contest so i rushed a lot already so i don't want to rush too much more but yeah it's gonna be approximately here and little machine gun shooting at the guy so yeah guys that was it for today's first video so leave a like comment and please subscribe um and yeah i'll see you in today's next video bye everyone peace